Good morning. A lid. Yeah. My therapist literally said this to me years ago. Sweden. Up the stairs. video on my channel okay so I did in fact cut my hair if you can't see it you probably can't because it's really the same my friend Celia cut some layers in my hair and also we cut it a little bit shorter but not a lot but we could have like this much this length or something I don't know I have nails which are completely ruined because I literally bite them like you see this one but I don't bite my normal nails but I buy my acrylic nails it's super weird why do I do that I need to actually start this video. I'm not dressed. I'm not going anywhere this time. I've been a lot of places. Been a lot of places. I've been all around the world. Seen a lot of faces. Never knowing where I was. On the horizon. Oh, but I know, I know, I know, I know. All the moon will rise. I bet one direction for you. <laughs> Should we just like make this a musical? I'm singing. Cause I don't know how to express myself otherwise So this is the way we're doing it tonight Not. Absolutely not Anyways, I'm sweating Let me just open my window Yay! I opened my windows, woohoo! Welcome back to my channel my name is Rania, or Rania in Norwegian. I've been flying all around the world for a few for a few weeks. March and February were one of the best months of my life, which is funny because those two months are my least favorite months of the year. I always, always fear, and when I tell you I fear March and February, I mean I fear those months. But obviously. The show live on tour fixed it. The show live on tour did something to me. It turned a switch in me. It literally rearranged my whole way of thinking. It's insane. Also, to give you guys a little bit of an update, Niall Horn basically knows who I am. He posted me on his story. He reposted my story. The last few months have been insane. It's now the 23rd of March and we're on Easter break. Woo! It is 10.30 right now in the evening, p.m. And I was just feeling like picking up the camera, doing a little weekend in my life, a few days in my life, I don't know. It is race weekend, it is race weekend. So I need to get to bed early because I'm gonna wake up at five tomorrow to watch cars go around in circles. Mm-hmm, yeah. I am gonna jump in the shower and then I'm just gonna do some skincare and I think I'm gonna have to edit a little bit the London vlog because it's going out tomorrow. Also, go and watch my Belfast vlog because it has so little views and I worked so hard on that. Like, I think you're supposed to say Belfast, but it's actually really good. Like, go and watch it, please. I spent a lot of time on that. I have more news. I have more news. If you didn't know what I used to use, I used to use iMovie for my editing. I think I used iMovie until fall last year. So after the Friends vlogs, I stopped using iMovie and I switched to Premiere Pro because I got Premiere Pro through my school. I'm sorry to anyone who uses Premiere Pro, but I'm not a big fan. I don't like it and I'm sorry. My Premiere Pro at least crashes a lot. It's kind of slow. I don't like the setup. It's not really for me. The price of it also in the end, like you have to pay each month. I think it's a monthly subscription. I get it through school, so it's free for me. But when I graduate, it's obviously not going to be free. And for me, as like a YouTube editor, I don't think it fits my style of editing and the efficiency of it because it's kind of takes a long time. And also it takes a really long time to learn. I learned a lot of it, but not everything. And I have a lot to learn about it. I still use it in school, so. I just found it a bit too complicated. I decided together with my parents that I was gonna get Final Cut Pro, which I did. So I'm now editing with Final Cut Pro. This video is edited with Final Cut Pro. Please pause me. I feel like 
the people who watch YouTube are YouTubers. If you are trying to figure out if you're gonna get Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, if you're gonna stay with iMovie, if you're gonna try something else. Obviously, you can only have Final Cut Pro on a Mac, so if you're using a Mac, I really, really, really recommend getting Final Cut Pro. It's so efficient, it's so quick, everything is really easy. It's really easy to learn, especially if you've come from like iMovie, if you've been using iMovie and then go to Final Cut Pro. It's so lovely, I love it. It's easy, it has everything you need, it just, Chef's kiss. I love Final Cut Pro. I'm done with the app in session now. Welcome to a little weekend vlog or days in my life or something. Very spontaneous. I'm gonna jump in the shower right now. Just, I need to get a shower. And then I'm gonna edit a little bit maybe. I don't know. Plan my month and my week and everything a little bit because I my life recently has been a mess. Like it's been amazing. I'm not complaining even a little bit because I have nothing to complain about. I'm gonna try and read and then I'm gonna sleep as early as possible because Australia. I'm gonna shower now, bye. I am fresh out of the shower. I have these pajama shorts from H&M that I bought a couple of years ago. I have this long button-up from H&M that I bought last year. And then I have this from, I believe, Big Book. I'm gonna watch some YouTube while I brush my hair and do some skincare. I did an everything shower, which was so good. I have really mixed feelings about 2024 up until now because I've not been able to keep like a sleeping schedule or routines or working out or any of those like routines that you want to have to feel good. And I haven't been taking care of myself, honestly. But at the same time, I've had some of the best memories. I've learned a lot only from these three first months, tried so many new things, traveled alone. Like there have been so many cool things happening Happening, but I've not been able to keep a single routine and because of that in January my mental health was really bad but now it's really good it's a new season and I'm loving it before I do anything else I have to show you my new picture wall look at this excuse me is this even in focus I don't know I absolutely love this I think you can't really see what's behind the mirror but it's Nile there's Nile and then we have Fast and Furious 2, which I love. We have Taylor, Eros Tour. We have some quotes and stuff that I wrote. We have Nile again, Die For You by Ariana and The Weeknd. 10 Things I Say About You, one of my favorite movies. We have my signed How To Like Go vinyl. We have some things from Monaco. We have a little picture of me. The like never grow up thing from my Nile vinyl. Nile. I love that it's kind of like scrambled. It's, you know, I'm really happy with it. Because those big A3 posters that you can see on the wall were like laying around in my room for a while. Which kind of brought me down because I wanted to hang them up but I didn't have the energy. But I did the other day and I love this. The lights were too bright. The streets that promised me romance. You were nowhere in sight. You looked for me. Couldn't see through the smoke. You've been walking for miles. Good morning. I completely overslept. I did not hear my alarm. I have to watch the race now. It's 10 30. So I'm gonna eat breakfast and watch the race because I overslept and did not hear any of my alarms. I just have to not go on any social media so that I don't get spoiled. And then Isaac's picking me up at 12 and we're driving to Sweden. Got this feeling for the first time, a reason to run away. We are 
on a road trip to Sweden. We're gonna buy candy. <laughs> That's all I have to say. But I'm really happy because there was a one, two, three, four Ferrari, Ferrari, McLaren, McLaren, Carlos, Charles, Lando, and Oscar. I was so happy. I am crying. But uh, we are just listening to music and talking and we're gonna buy candy. Yeah, I am craving soda right now. So we're probably gonna buy some soda. I need to be better, we just talked about it. I need to be better to not hold my camera here because what, what is this filming? Uh, no, it's not good. I need to hold my camera like this. Anyways, bye. Everything we have as God as this fire. I have to buy some things for Easter break, so I'm gonna buy some soda and some candy and some snacks. Yep. Hey you guys, we're seeing what to the vlog before you leave. Outfit check. Outfit check. Slay. <laughs> I'm currently reading my book. I was born for this by Alice Oseman. Don't know how I feel about it yet. Like, I like it. I can see myself in it and I can relate to it on a lot of levels, but I don't know. Some of the writing is giving me an experienced EC. But I know Alice Oseman is a fantastic writer, so I think it's gonna get better. I just, the first few pages are giving, but the writing is not giving. I'm not loving the writing. It's a little bit too easy for me. And I think that's because I'm like used to the Inheritance Games, Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I am liking it a lot so far. I just need to get used to the writing, I think. I'm currently at my cabin in the mountains. I'm gonna give you a tour of the cabin because I've never filmed here before. It's like really in nowhere. It's by a little, it's not even a lake. It's just some water. I guess but it, that's for us now so everything's white all around it but we have to drive like the snowmobile to get to the cabin which we did yesterday I was being dragged with my cousin behind the snowmobile while I was snowboarding and it was really fun I usually do it when I'm here and it's literally so fun this is what the outside looks like I'm sick here's my dad He's fixing a snowboard. Here's my snowboard. That's mine. And that's my sister's. And then here's what the outside looks like. And there's another cabin, like, connected down there. Yeah, I guess this is the outside. Then you want to walk in, shoes and stuff. It's really messy. Here we have the dining table. Then we have the kitchen here. Wow, kitchen, kitchen. Play. And then we have the fireplace, a little bench, and if you open it, yeah, sofa, I am eating quick lunch. This will look like a Kit Kat, but I'm telling you guys, quick lunch was invented before the Kit Kat, so quick lunch is not a Kit Kat, a Kit Kat is a quick lunch. Just saying. As you can tell, this cabinet is really old. There's a little cabinet here. Here you go. And we have like board games and stuff here. And then there's the chair. That's my cabin. I'm gonna show you guys my room as well. This is our room where everybody sleeps. Not my cousins, just my dad, my sister, and me. That's like a travel toilet, I guess. And we don't really use it though. We use it just if we have to pee in the middle of the night. Here's the table, our bags. As you can see, my sister is the messiest. Here is our, like, I guess, sink. Our homemade DIY sink. Here's a little cabinet. That's something to get us warm, I guess. Some whatever. And beds. Beds, beds, beds. This is my bed. This is my dad's bed. And this is my sister's bed. Now you know. My cousins and my sister are going skiing, but I'm sick, so I'm staying here. And I'm just gonna read. We're rewriting every story we read since we were young. Now we're both under. Hey, everybody. I look. Uh, 
Good morning, everybody. God, I look pale. Holy. Um, I've been really bad at filming because I haven't been doing anything. Yesterday, I ended up just reading my book and watching Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, and the Marvels because I hadn't watched those. And I also need to watch... Echo, Loki, Season 2, Secret Invasion, Werewolf by Night, and a couple other Marvel things. We're gonna make some breakfast now. I'm still quite sick. Louis was literally sleeping on my shoulder the whole night and it was so cute. It was so cute. Hi, Glumpen. Hey, vlog. We're not looking too lovely right now, but anyways, the reason I haven't been filming at all this week this was supposed to be like a Easter vlog and I was supposed to film like a days of my life. When I started this, that was gonna be like a different video. But I just decided I'm gonna put everything into one and it's just gonna be some days of my life, random things that I do. I'm gonna catch up with you guys a little bit now because I'm talking a little bit quieter because this house, <laughs> everybody can hear what I'm saying, right? I'm literally sick every month. I'm tired of being sick. Can't say this place away. We manifest the universe. Hey, universe, I know besties. Babe, please make sickness go away. Please let April, May, June, and the summer be amazing and give me everything I need and all the tools that I need to make the spring and summer amazing. Make all my dreams come true and give me strength. Thank you, universe. I love you, bestie. So, yeah, we're at my summer house. It's by a river and it is super beautiful here. And I'm hoping for sunny weather tomorrow. I think Easter is tomorrow on the Saturday. I don't know. I am a really, really like all or nothing person. When I do something, <laughs> I'm gonna do it all or nothing. I won't do it half. Like either I give my all or I give my nothing, which is not healthy, I would say. I think it's so important with balance and balance is something I'm really, really bad at that I need to learn. I need to learn how to be balanced as a person. Taking care of myself, honestly, because I'm so bad at taking care of myself, babes. Yeah. Let me know if you want a notion tour and stuff like that because I will give you it. Like if you deal with problems like lacking motivation, I see you because the same and procrastination number one procrastinator right here number one like if you beat yourself up for being a procrastinator and you're like i never do things i have to do the things i need to do i have to stop like going on tiktok scrolling and you know same. because number one around this time last year in the winter i was consistently in the gym like i was in the gym four times a week with my bestie uh, we were running outside we were slaying i was like so good at taking care of myself so good at health drinking green juice, like eating Greek yogurt, you know, all that jazz. And like, I was on top of my shit. But at the same time, when I look back, I had one of the roughest times of my life. Even if I was doing all the things that people say is so healthy, I was having such a bad time. Like I was having the roughest time. I have a chronic identity crisis, okay? I live in an identity crisis. I have an identi identity crisis every day. That makes it so much hard for me to like decide what I'm gonna do because I don't know how I want this video to look. I don't know how I want my life to look. I don't know how I want this to look. Like I really, I get so overwhelmed if I don't have everything in the right place. Traveling alone, experiencing the world alone, all of that has given me so much and made me trust myself a lot more, which is amazing. And no, I have a lot to learn and I will say the same thing about myself next year and I know that. But I think like having this moment of reflection is really important and I realized that for example vitamin D is such an important thing for me like being out in the sun like not even vitamin D just like the sun or being outside My therapist literally said this to me years ago She was like you need to get outside something I really want to get into that I know I would love is running outside because what I want to do is I want to start running in the mornings before school This is gonna sound insane to some people and it sounds insane to me too But I know that if I don't get my workout done within the few first hours of the morning I'm not going to work out I'm not gonna work out. I'm gonna wake up at 5.30 every morning to run. Literally, I want to do that. Having that and waking up to run every day and starting my day with nature, starting my day with a workout, getting that out of the way, that feels really productive and that's gonna lead to me staying productive throughout the day. And I also wanna start having one day, one or two days each month where I just rot in bed. Yes, I did watch Nicole's video on how to get out of the slump because I love Nicole. I feel like that's gonna help a lot with burnout, knowing that I have those days where I can actually do that. Really wanna incorporate new things into my routine and I feel like the spring and summer is going to be really, really, really good. And I'm so excited to see what it brings. And I think life is going to be so cool the next following years. I wanna share these things that like, things that I want to do to improve. It's okay to have long, long, long periods where you feel like shit. I want to see more of people actually admitting that life isn't always amazing. I need to see more people on social media being real and not only being a highlight reel, you know? Anyways, I'm going to do a little reset and I'm gonna set up my notion again. Everything. So, I love you guys so much. Okay. 
kids the next day, I changed into this, uh, my gray pants and I have a white t-shirt on. I woke up really late today, <laughs> but that's fine. We're making dinner, so I thought I would show you a little bit, vlog it a little bit. This is, that's my room, no, yeah? That's where I'm sleeping right now. It's usually my aunt's room, but she's not here right now. And over there is where I used to be. And that's a bathroom. And then behind this wall is my grandmother's room. And then in the corner there is my mom and dad's room. I'm back. I don't know when the last time I filmed was. I think it was when we were making dinner. It's Easter Monday. I just remembered that I actually vlogged on Easter Monday last year as well. That was a spring reset, I think, or weekly reset. So go and watch that. Linked up in one of the corners. So we're home now. As you can see, I'm in my room. I've just been editing, honestly. I had some breakfast and stuff, and I've been editing. It's around 2 o'clock, I think. What I want to do today is I want to finish the London vlog and get that posted. So I got to make a thumbnail. I got to put on what I call glitter, which is like finishing touches. And I got to make an intro and an outro and a description. I think that's it. I also want to finish I Was Born For This, the book I'm currently reading. I am 140 pages in, I think. Maybe I'll get through it, maybe not, we'll see. I just thought I would hop on the vlog and vlog because I haven't really gotten much content. I'm just like, I haven't been doing, I've just been speaking a lot this vlog, I feel like, I don't know. I actually drove halfway home yesterday, which was fun because I'm practicing driving and I drove for like one and a half hour or something which was fun it's three hours home so i have no concept of time so i will put so many things on my to-do list that i will not get to do but i'm just gonna do it i'm just gonna you know finish the vlog finish the book do some school work that i need to do and i also want to do a sunset run i want to run when the sun is setting because that's the most beautiful thing let's edit it Hello you guys, I'm back and as you can see it's not day anymore and that's because that video took five hours longer than expected, yeah. So I thought that it was going to be quick and everything was going to be good, but I had to learn some new stuff uh, that I had to put in the video. But it's out now, so go and watch the London vlogs. It's linked up in one of the corners. I obviously didn't get to do everything that I wanted to do, but that's fine. I'm going to go upstairs and make a smoothie right now, and uh, I'm going to eat. I'm gonna have a late night snack. It's like 11, so it's pretty late. I have to go to sleep. But I'm gonna do a bit of a night routine and just let my phone be downstairs because I need to distance myself from everything that has to do with the screen. First, I'm gonna pack my school bag for tomorrow, actually. I need to put my laptop in. I need to put my iPad in, some clothes. I need to prep for tomorrow first. So I'm gonna do that. My laptop and my iPad are going in my bag. This is my school bag. It's from 157, which I think is like a Scandinavian thing. 157 lager. 
I have gym class tomorrow, so I need to find some gym clothes and just a normal outfit. I think I'm gonna go with these black pants. It's gonna be cold tomorrow because Norway is cold, so I have to find something warm and comfortable because I it's a long day and it's. I think I'm gonna go with this T-shirt. I also need to pack these dates. That's what it's called, right? Dates in my bag because they are my friends that I bought for her in Sweden. I think since it's gonna be a little cold tomorrow, I'm gonna have a hoodie over this. I chose this one from Sweet Skate. It just has a lot of graphics on it and it's really cool. So I'm gonna do that one. I made this bracelet for Nile, and I was supposed to give it to him. But I didn't get to give it to him, so I'm wearing that, and I'm also wearing all of my friendship bracelets that I've gotten at concerts, because I always wear my friendship bracelets, because I am emotionally attached to bracelets. I am going to do some skincare now, and I'm watching YouTube on my phone. I'm watching Nicole Leno. Love her. Love her. But when I tell you, I am horrible at sleeping with things in my hair. I tried heatless curls the other day. God, it was horrendous. I could not sleep and I ended up throwing them angrily out of my hair in the middle of the night. I'm gonna go to sleep now. I feel like this video is really, really random, but...